ओम शांति आई हैव ग्रोन अप लिसनिंग टू सिस्टर शिवानी एंड फॉलोड हर डिलीजेंटली ओवर द लास्ट ट्वेल्व ईयर्स आई एम नाउ अ मदर ऑफ टू किड्स I remember reading a few parenting books when I was expecting my first one. I wanted to be ready like every one of us. I wanted to be well prepared. But but if you are a parent, you know how it goes, right? As kids grew up, all the bookish knowledge went out of the window. But this one lesson, this one lesson from Sister Shivani on parenting stuck with me through all these years in this video we will take a deeper look into it towards the end i will also share my personal experiences and how i applied her teachings whenever i could i will also share what works best for me so stay tuned till the end namaste i am gargi and you are watching the aligned souls Please subscribe to the channel for more videos on building a healthy mind, body and soul. Let's dive in. To really understand this, let's go back a few years. Do you remember the time when your kid was say 6 to 12 months old? They would wake up in the middle of the night. They would get cranky and what not. Then when they are 1 to 2 years old, they start walking. and may drop things or even break them we may get angry sometimes but most of the times we are like oh i hope you're not hurt are you okay oh my cute little kiddo and then we shower them with some kisses and hugs we accept their stuff as natural for their age now imagine the time when the kid is a bit older they still share everything openly with you One day the child came late from school. You are all worried calling the school, the school bus driver and other parents. Just then he enters, all excited talking about the movie he went with his friends. What is our reaction? A volcano erupts, isn't it? How irresponsible. You didn't even care to tell me. What kind of friends do you have and did you bunk school? Is this what I've taught you? Then on some other day, let's say he did not do well in his assignment. and as an innocent kid he came to you and showed his cheek but then we berated him for not being disciplined and not working hard enough the way we had asked it's not about just one instance here or there these experiences pile up in a child's mind now hold right there let's switch into the child's shoes what are you thinking what's going on in your head maybe you feel a little bad maybe you realize that you made a few mistakes but you also feel rejected and ridiculed by your parents they judged you and labeled you as an irresponsible kid but but you find love and acceptance with your friends so what happens the next time that your friends plan a movie most likely you would go but hide the fact from your parents you may start lying you may inform the parent that you will be late because you have assignments or stuff sister shivani says that we start calling this as generation gap or we say that they are teenagers and won't listen or we just say that they have gone out of control or they do things under peer pressure and so on but she clearly says that by saying such things we are shying away from our responsibility as a parent here is the thing everybody and especially kids seek love and acceptance this is number 1 every child wants acceptance and if they receive this acceptance from parents and family they will not feel the need to seek acceptance outside and we need to be careful as this can spin out of control very fast especially in these times if the child does not get acceptance at home he may seek acceptance from friends and tomorrow if friends do something that even he thinks is not right like smoking a cigarette he may still pick it up he may still pick it up just to be accepted in that group and we we call it peer pressure i got goosebumps when i heard this concept from sister shivani for the very first time i had never thought of things this way if kids get unconditional love and acceptance from parents 
they become so strong mentally that they will stand up for what is right even if it means to stand alone when i first learned about this my immediate reaction was so what do we do as parents just show love and let them ignore studies for movies just let them do whatever they want even if it is not good for them no absolutely not here comes the two step process that i use based on sister shivani's teachings if they make a mistake don't take out your guns and start blazing i know i know it's not that easy things they do sometimes you can't hold back i know from experience that it's not easy but we try our best i still end up firing a few times but it's rare now we get better with practice so if they do something you do not approve of our first step is to show unconditional love period no matter what complete love and acceptance and not fake one yes if you are angry inside about what he or she did but you are not saying anything still the child will feel the vibration we need to feel love and acceptance for that teenage son or daughter just like just like we accepted and loved their tantrums when they were 6 months old it takes some practice to get there a lot of practice but just knowing this wins half the battle you hear them out as a friend as a buddy as a partner you listen with your ears you listen with your heart and then let that moment melt away and then step 2 after some hours or a few days when you and the child are in a calm mood and atmosphere then bring up your suggestions and discuss what can be done and how it can be done better as a team as a friend not as a boss dictating your kid what to do then my doubt was what is the difference why will it work we are still telling them what to do right so might as well tell them right then and with mighty force so that they remember so that they understand that it's not acceptable what they did and make sure that it does not happen again but here is the difference when we are angry shouting at them judging them even if we are trying to say something that is of benefit to the child he or she will not be in a position to really listen he is not in a state to absorb this vibration of anger creates a sort of wall between the parent and the child and no matter how much or how forcefully we try to say things it will not reach them he may hear the words for sure but he will not be accepting in his heart he will not be absorbing the lesson in his mind instead it will only make the wall stronger and stronger and take the kid further and further away he may start hiding things from us and we think that we have disciplined the child so when we first show acceptance we break the wall yes we shatter that wall and build a bridge a bridge of love and acceptance and then when we are sitting on that bridge together our wavelengths match our vibrations connect and we understand each other for me the time before sleep works wonders to build the bridge and connect with the dim lights good night hugs it sets the right tone you know for a heart to heart at that moment we are together not as a mom and child but as buddies and we can discuss and sort things out peacefully it's magic I cannot thank Sister Shivani enough and in fact so many times I did not even need that step to you know so many times when I executed step 1 by the time we got ready for a nap or while having dinner later or the next day my kid would bring up the topic himself say sorry for this or that and also tell me what he would do next to fix it they are so smart deep down they know what is right or wrong at that moment of failure 
or at that moment of making a mistake they just needed someone to take them as they were and not judge them that is it that is it one of my friends is a counselor at a school and kids share all sorts of things with him they explicitly tell him not to share anything with their parents i discussed this approach with him and he says this is largely what he practices he gives them the support and acceptance they seek and once they know that they can trust him with anything they open up on their own so here we have these kids sharing their concerns with a counselor an outsider and they hesitate to say the same thing to their parents in fact they don't even want them to know about it so as parents let's keep that bridge intact let's keep that bridge strong and yes we are parents but we are also humans we may still get upset sometimes we may still get angry now and then even though i have been practicing this for so long i still make the same mistake often but we try our best yes we do our best and even when we follow the steps sometimes sometimes our children may still do something or make a choice that does not fall into our definition of right but it's okay sister shivani says we all including our kids have a karmic account and we are all individual souls and we cannot dictate every inch of their lives but we can be that support along the way this is the main takeaway my grandfather used to say something similar he said no matter what mistake the kid has done outside he should always have that confidence in his heart that yes i can go home and i will be supported i will be accepted my parents will always hold my hand they should never lose this confidence in their parents they end up in bigger trouble once they lose this confidence and rely on others more than their parents we have to assure them that if they fall we their parents always have their back parenting is such a roller coaster right we want the best for our kids and often do a lot to give them what they need but sometimes we forget something really important making a strong trusting connection with our children let's create a space where kids can share their joys failures and worries let's make that bridge strong where we sit together and connect Don't forget to watch this video where I share five life lessons that I learned from Sister Shivani. Thanks a lot for watching and do subscribe to the channel for more videos on building a healthy mind, body and soul.